I am doing a video uh, in reply to the this comment and actually I have um, added the wrong video here because although I did the video I, I noticed I was sharing the wrong screen and the person couldn't actually see what I was doing so I'm redoing it <clears throat> so use the video above so I'm just going to say video had issues and I'll paste the link in a second and I'll hit the one on the top later that's fine so let me know that I've brought the video the the site to the right site this time so I will show you what I'm doing here there we go and also I can bring in the product categories which I also need here so <clears throat> now I can see that I am actually showing the right screen which is great so let's start from the top here um, I'm using my theme of choice it doesn't really matter which one you use um, I've installed WooCommerce I have added sample products for from the the sample CSV that comes with WooCommerce and all I have installed other than the Divi theme which is my theme of choice is code snippets and the free version and WooCommerce obviously as you can see I do have a few products in here and per the request I've created sample one category and sample two category I can show you these the person had Greg had um, mentioned that he wants them to be capital I will show you whether that's significant or not so um, at this point I will just show you really quickly that I have also have added a product into the uncategorized category which is the default WooCommerce category when you don't put your products in a category some people get rid of this by renaming the category and changing the slug um, I don't because if my clients do potentially add a product to the uncategorized category I can sort of at least hide it in the front end and tell them look you guys you forgot to add your category please go in and, and, and change whatever you need to change because that is a product is automatically assigned to uncategorized when somebody does not define a category when they add the product and sometimes you just forget because you're adding too much information and you forget to look on the left hand side when you add products anyway so let's start with the snippet I use the same name as my code snippets before um, I mentioned that you have to add, edit line 14 <clears throat> so it says uncategorized and if you notice it's in small letters the reason is that no matter what it says here what we actually use is something called the slug which you can find here or potentially um, you can find it another way too I'm just gonna save and deactivate this so you can see what happens when the um, when the code is not running so let me go to the front end here and I'll go to the shop page because this code actually runs on the shop page based on how it's written so as you can see the uncategorized has a product in it and it's showing now and we have um, Greg's two categories which I've created and I've added some products to if you don't add products to category um, the category is by default not visible that's why I had a forcibly add category so you can see uh, what's going on so let me just go to the snippet all snippets right here and I'll just activate this it's no different than what I have on the code snippets cloud if you don't know what code snippets cloud is it's a cloud-based repository of code snippets that is free as far as I know and it will remain free I don't know if that changes in the future there is a pro version if you want to support the developer uh, on this website I'm currently using the free version but if you want to support the development of that fantastic cloud which um, the point is to actually um, allow snippets to exist so people can use them uh, by people like me that that create them when they need them and, and and it's great for me as well because I can 
keep all my snippets in one place and I don't need to log into clients alt websites to remember the code that I wrote years ago to do X, Y, and Z. Anyway, so as you can see, I have an if statement here that says that if the product category is in one of the categories that I've defined, I'll, I'll show you where I define this. Um, uh, first of all, I will say that I'm looking for products because that's how WooCommerce product categories, that's how WooCommerce defines product categories. I want this to happen when I'm not in the admin area and also when I'm on the shop page. This is what this uh, basically is translated to. So I want this to look for product categories when I am not in the admin area and I'm on the shop page. That's all it says. Now, this is what you should change. Line 14 is the things that you want to sort of hide from the front end. As I said, they will not be removed from the back end. They'll still be there and people will can access them if they knew the old direct link, unless you physically remove the category from the shop. So in this case, our friend Greg wanted us to remove uh, sample one and sample two, which are categories. So let me just go to the front initially and go to the shop page. As you can see, everything shows except uncategorized because I've hidden it with my little code snippet. So we know the code snippet works because uncategorized is now gone, whereas before it was there. So now let's see if we can hide Greg's categories, which I've created. So sample one says product category, and then it's got this sample one and sample two, if you go to the second one, if you notice. Those are the slugs. You can find them, obviously, if you if you know WooCommerce well, you can go to products, you can go to categories, and then you can say, okay, uh, what's the slug of the ones that I wanna hide? The slug for this one, if I click quick edit, is uncategorized, small letters. And the slug for Greg's categories is quick edit, sample one, quick edit, sample two. So now how do I actually change the snippet so this works? It's very simple, actually. You would just simply take this and comment separate new stuff. Because I'm I'm copy pasting because I'm being lazy. So I, I've, I've put in two new ones that I want. And instead of it saying uncategorized, it will say sample one, which is the slug that I found before and sample two. Uh, make sure you spell these correctly, because if you don't, then it's going to look for categories that don't exist. It's, it's not that your code will crash, but it will not work because these slugs simply do not exist. So I'm saving changes. And in theory and in practice, now that we, if we go back to the website uh, and we you will see that it's showing on the home page because first of all in my code i said i have to be on the shop page for this uh, code snippet to run which is why you can still see them here because i'm assuming you don't have your um product categories on your home page if you do you can you can um change this little bit so you 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 wouldn't need essentially you wouldn't need this bit here uh if you want to do it everywhere, not only on the shop, you can remove this bit. But for now, I don't really, and let me see if that actually works, which I think it should, but let me see if I'm right. Because I'm basically telling them as long as I'm not in admin and yep, you see, it works now. So I'm not on a shop page, but for some reason I have my categories on my home page and I want them to disappear, you can just remove that bit. But let's 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 stick to them disappearing only on the shop page for now. So I'm putting back my code just so that uh -huh. okay. And your shop, I guess. That symbol means not, by the way, in case you're wondering what that is. So I want it to be if I'm not admin and I'm on the shop. Let's see if it still works or if I broke anything. 
let's see they should come up on the home page now again but not on the shop page there we go that worked so yeah uh as you can see greg's categories have disappeared from the sidebar as i said they will not they will still be in the system and the reason it's still showing up here is because the menu is a different story for the menu you would have to go like i'm categorized is on the menu and the simple reason is because i haven't set a menu here so if i say okay menu and i just add the shop page and then you'll see that that's fine although obviously this is probably the sample page that runs initially um so yeah that's the page you're looking at when you visit the site but yeah uh, the code snippet works as you can see it shows the category on other pages but i showed you the way to remove that if that's your case and then you can go to the shop page and you'll see that the uncategorized as well as Greg's category specifically have disappeared from the sidebar. And that's that. I will terminate the live now so that this can, if you need anything else, Greg, feel free to comment on the code snippets and I'll try and accommodate um, as long as I have some free time to do this for you. <laughs> yeah.